Sure, Ross from fitforgolf.ca. Here we're going to talk about what I think are the three most important metrics that you can use on your launch monitor. I'm going to play a 500 and I think it's 519 yards uh, left dog leg par five here. I'm going to take a first shot. I felt like it pulled a little bit, but. What I think you need to really study the most with your golf swing, and if you're gonna use the launch monitor and the metrics, first of all, you need to use that club path very effectively. That is what brings you into very consistent zones of hitting and performance. All right, let's see what our second shot is here. Got a little ways to go here. I'm just gonna get it up there with the three wood and second thing that I like to really uh, get across people is that you also have to have a good club face closure or flushness and you want to have those two things working for you very consistently. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to get up there. All right, I'm going to be going for my birdie attempt here. On this, there are this uh, software, there's no putting of course, so I'm going to be Shifting into two scoring zones, a one putt and a two putt zone. Let's see what our distance is here. Okay. Um, the third thing is angle of attack. Angle of attack is very important for quality ball striking. And that looks like it's just gonna get into that zone nicely for a birdie. So fitforgolf.ca will help you achieve these three metrics on a consistent basis. Um, it's all done by our eight movement pattern teaching platform, which is known as Byproduct Golf. And uh, after a little while of working on that, you can get these same consistent results. Uh, you use a launch monitor and a simulator like this, it's, it's exactly the same as outside, you're gonna get those same consistent results. Okay, so hope to see you in this uh, spring season coming up, 2023. It's gonna be a great golf season. Let's get ready.